Hi everyone, my name is Chris with the Operations Security Professionals Association and today I want to talk about one of the greatest films ever made, an American classic called Home Alone. I'm not being sarcastic either, Home Alone is one of AFI's top 100 Christmas movies of all time, just two spaces behind Die Hard. While I never specifically thought of Die Hard as a Christmas movie, who am I to argue with the American Film Institute? Home Alone is one of my guilty pleasures, but it's also a great example of OPSEC in action. The first comes just a few minutes into the film when Marv, one of the wet bandits, scopes out the McAllister household. This is great social engineering. He looks like a cop. He's dressed right, he has a badge and everything, so all he does is goes into the home and asks a few specific questions. The kids handle it great. They don't say a word. A lot of action around here today, huh? Going on vacation? Where you going? You hear me or what? Going on a trip? Where you going, kid? So Marv tries again, this time talking to Mr. McAllister, who tells him pretty much everything. Oh, yeah, well, we have uh, automatic timers for our lights, locks for our doors. That's about as well as anybody can do these days, right? Did you get some eggnog or something like that? Come on, Dad. By the way, do you remember why they're called the Wet Bandits? You did it again, didn't you? You left the water running, didn't you? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why do you do that? I told you not to do it. Harry, it's our calling card. Calling card. All the great ones leave their mark. We're the Wet Bandits. It seems Harry likes to leave a little calling card at every home they rob, because all the great ones do it. That probably won't come back to bite them. Nice move. Always leaving the water running. Now we know each and every house that you've hit. Oh. Right. Aside from that, they had a pretty solid plan. In addition to finding out the family's vacation schedule through social engineering, they confirm which homes are empty by observing certain patterns, specifically the timing of the Christmas lights. Check it out. All the houses with nobody home have automatic timers on their lights. But I got it all figured out. Watch this. Number 664 will be going on right about now. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Number 672, right now. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. 671, now. <laughs> and that's the one, Marvin. That's the silver tuna. Oh, it's very G. Very G, huh? But unfortunately for the wet bandits, Kevin's security was just a little bit better. He had disguises. Maybe we're in the church. I'm not going in there. Me neither. Uh, let's get out of here. Deception. Did they come back? Iris. And his physical security was flawless. <laughs> Although he may have gone just a little bit overboard with the deception piece. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Cheapskate. Hey, I'm going to give you to the count of ten to get your ugly, yellow, no good keister off my property before I pump your guts full of lead. One, two, ten. <laughs> 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 
this might have raised a few questions. But overall it worked, with just a little bit of help. <laughs> so the next time you watch Home Alone, like I know you all do, try to remember the OPSEC lessons that we can learn from it. And be careful what you throw away. Oh,